Yo, 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 what is up, what is up, YouTube Boxing Family, it is I K right here. I'm back at it with another good video today. And no, I am not talking about DBZ Tenkaichi 4 yet. I will be bringing that video out for you guys today, or actually no, tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow or sometime in the future. Um, yeah, let's get right into it, man. We have a really, really exciting matchup between Jesse Magdaleno versus, uh... Mr. Um, Raymond Ford. And, oh man, oh man. I am definitely excited for this fight. Um, I think Jesse is in a really good position right now. Um, not only because that this is a fight for him to easily get back into the rafters of world title contention. But where you see a fight like this coming to Raymond Ford... Uh, at the midpoint of his career, where he could very well graduate to the veteran level, um, I would definitely say he's at the student level. He's he's still he's still a he's still a student of the game type fighter, and um, I think he's getting away from the rookie stage, and now we're starting to see him at the um, higher level, and I think this is a very good test for Raymond Ford. Um, obviously Raymond Ford, he knocked out his last opponent, Sakaria Lucas. Um, very, very good fight. Um, I think Raymond, I think Raymond Ford has been tested beautifully in his career. And this is literally what I respect out of Raymond Ford. Um, obviously I don't think he's, he's been given the upper echelon yet, but, but this opponent and Jesse Magdaleno, is a great test and I think Magdaleno he's not coming to he's not coming to lay down he's really coming in to like beat Jess or to beat Raymond and um I think this is going to be a very very tough fight I just don't know who's going to win this fight and I think uh when you look at the resumes uh Jesse is way more accomplished than Raymond Ford obviously he's known for uh becoming a world champion by uh you know, winning his belt at Bantamweight, and I believe he won a title at, uh, at Super Bantamweight, so, yeah, Jesse is a two-division world champion, actually, um, actually, no, no, he's actually a one-division world champion, I'm sorry, yeah, because I got mixed up, I thought that was Bantamweight, two Bantamweight, but actually, no, he lost to Isaac Dalbe back in 2018, and, uh, you know, that was surprising, <laughs> That, you know, he lost to him. And, uh, you know, Dog Bay knocked him out. But, um, nah, ever since then, you know, he's been on an absolute, you know, tear. And he's been, he's been tested really, really well. Like, Jesse, he's not your typical average, like, you know, you know, um, I'm just gonna get easy type of fights type of fighter. Um, he's always stepped it up. And, uh, I think knowing that you did get a good win over Nonito Donaire which, uh, that was a really tough fight of itself, but, um, I think either way, like, Jesse, Jesse has shown that he's graduated to the, to the high upper echelon veteran level, and I think, uh, now that he's at 126, um, he's really gonna make a lot of impact in the division, and I think a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, how special of a fighter he is, um, I think when you look at this style, um, you have a really dangerous southpaw against another southpaw, and, you know, you know me, like, southpaws run boxing, but, uh, this is another clear reason why southpaws, you know, we don't normally fight each other unless it's actually gonna happen, and then that's where people start to understand, like, okay, like, this is why southpaws don't fight each other a lot, because, you know, they tend to actually beat each other out in a more competitive fight, but when it's a higher upper tier southpaw level, like, that's where southpaws are not able to be as successful, because once, you know, once the rhythm gets into your punching, you know, forte, and you're able to be successful off the trades, and then whoever wins with the gun, you know, with the shootout to actually hurt the other fighter and knock them out or brutally destroy them, uh, that's what makes Southpaw matchups really, really difficult, you know, to call. But, um, I don't know who's going to win this fight. I really, really don't know. I think 
Jesse Magdaleno is an absolute monster, and I think Raymond Ford, he's a monster too. Um, the problem that I have with this fight is that um, Raymond Ford, he's definitely a good fighter. And I understand that it's most likely going to be a fight where Jesse's going to have to work really hard to try to get this victory. Because I don't think the politics will benefit Jesse. But knowing that if this fight is going to be at a neutral environment, but yet the judging will be corrupted against Raymond Ford, then that's what I'm kind of concerned about. But I don't think we're going to have to really worry so much about that up until fight night. But, um, I don't know. I think, uh, this is a really perfect fight where Raymond Ford, you know, he's been wanting all the smoke. And, uh, Jesse, he answered the call. So, I don't think this is a bad fight for for either guy. Uh, some people would try to discredit the, you know, the, um, you know, you know, their, you know, both of their, you know, resumes to say, like, oh, well, Jesse, Jesse hasn't fought anybody good, you know, his entire career, blah, 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 and he's only gotten victories against C-level, B-minus level opposition, so it's like, what makes him certified to be good, and it's like, you know, you really can't discredit, you know, his resume, because he is a very good fighter, it's just that when he got tested, you know, more in his career, I think there were certain points of his career where he wasn't performing as better. And I think Jesse has shown a lot more um, maturity in his career. And now, here we are, fast forward into being 31 years old. I think Jesse understands that um, he, he, he has he has the skills and the ability to take out a lot of people. Um, and, multi, like, you know, I would probably say... Primarily at 126, because, I, like, you know, I'm not going to try to gas up Jesse Magdaleno. I think he's way better than his brother Diego, most definitely, because uh, uh, Diego, you know, he was good for what he used to be, but as he got older, he got blasted, and he was just never really let the same guy, so Diego is obviously the um, lesser experienced fighter with uh not a lot more experience compared to Jesse. Jesse he has a really decorated um amateur background. That's what I know out of him. And actually when I used to watch a lot of the fighters from the early two thousands leading up to now, uh Jesse Jesse was a very well known amateur if I'm not mistaken. And um you know, I'm not gonna go into his amateur pedigree, but all I know is that Jesse Magdaleno, like, if he was able to move better in his career where he wasn't going over to top rank and doing business with, uh, I don't know, Golden Boy, right? I'm not too sure if he ever did Golden Boy, but I do know that the top rank days, like, Jesse, he was being, he was being quote-unquote hyped up, but he never really asked to be hyped up because it's like he's just been focusing so hard on his career to to try to get a title and the only way he was ever to do that was when he did you know he did beat um what nonito or whoever he beat for the title but still um it, it, it like it just showed that uh that jesse he's aged better into his skill set and i think we're seeing that a lot better now in his career versus in the past I think the younger Jesse Magdaleno he had a lot more distractions outside of his career that made him more vulnerable to become more of a lesser fighter um experience wise to not you know reach to the highest pedigree of the skill set so now with Raymond Ford uh that's a different story because Raymond Ford you know he's more of the typical you know, flashy young fighter. He definitely has a lot of, you know, athleticism. Um, I want to say punching power. He really hits that hard. He definitely has your Dennis Ugas type power. Um, Raymond is not the type of dude to like let a fight go late game unless he has to go late game. But it's like he's just in it to just get a victory. He's not in it to 
make a fight boring or make a fight less, you know, less, uh, you know, less boring or just trying to get into crazy firefights. Um, Raymond Ford is a very, very good fighter. And I would say, if anything, um, he's definitely proven himself to be tested amazing at his stage of his career where he's not focusing so much on losing he's focusing more on winning with the best competition that he's able to find and you know as much as I don't like Matrim and I don't like Eddie Hearn I will give credit to Eddie Hearn or whoever's dealing with the matchmaking at Matchroom to be to be putting these good sturdy veteran style opponents in front of uh Raymond Ford and uh, the thing about Ray is that he's not he's not turning away from the good competition like you know I think you know obviously when it's all said and done I think you know you're like uh, you'll start to see him age a lot better into the division and obviously you know he only got 13 fights so it's like I think Raymond Ford will very well you know get out there you know, to become a good fighter. And uh, I think he'll be able to do the things that people would expect him to do. So, I think uh, how this fight's going to play out from round one leading up to the end is that Raymond's going to try to have to outbox Jesse. Because Jesse, he is obviously the slower fighter. And I think Jesse's the harder puncher out of the two. But what I would do if I'm Raymond is that I don't let Jesse get the pressure on me because Raymond shows that he's vulnerable to pressure when he doesn't know how to deal with it yet because he's obviously very inexperienced to not go deep waters yet uh Jesse has been in deep waters before and Jesse understands how to break opponents down with good you know educated you know pressure so you know, the thing about Jesse is that um, whenever he pops out his jab, um, a lot of southpaws like to do that. Because what southpaws like to do is that they're trying to look for that really good deadly shot. Because obviously if you're gifted in power, like uh, Gervonta Tank Davis or Errol Spence, you're, you know, um, you're not going to find the knockout. You're going to let the natural shot come to you to actually hurt somebody and dominate them in a fight. So, you know, with this type of style running in front of him, I think Raymond's going to be more counteractive with Jesse's, uh, you know, counterpunching. Because Jesse is a, you know, he's an amazing counterpuncher. He does not let opportunities go to waste, you know, when he sees his opportunity to dominate an opponent off of counters. Um, I would probably say with Raymond... He has the speed, he has the agility, he, he definitely has the hand speed. The hands are way faster than Jesse. But I think uh, the biggest takeaway from this is going to be the, uh, you know, the, the reads. And I think, um, you know, Raymond Ford, he's going to have the better reads against Jesse. And I think Jesse, he's going to start getting frustrated with Raymond's ability to catch everything that Jesse's trying to do to him. And I think what will end up happening is that Jesse will start to throw a lot of haymakers at, at Raymond. And I think what Raymond's going to do is that he's going to counter Jesse with uppercuts. And when he sees a good shot, he's going to try to clip Jesse. And if Jesse's able to take the shot well and proceed with his ability to try to break Raymond down, um, I think Jesse could be able to, like, I think he's p potentially able to drop Raymond Ford, if not stop him, if he's able to break Raymond Ford to the body and start crushing him with good overhand, you know, overhead, yeah, overhand punches th that Raymond doesn't see. And um, Jesse, he's able to do what he's supposed to do. Um, he's obviously not known to really knock people out, uh, a lot, but whenever he does hurt somebody, um, he's able to, uh, you know, initiate the proper pressure to make himself a bigger threat to win the fight easier. So, I think, um, honestly, when it comes down to it, 
uh, Jesse, he is a great, phenomenal talent. But the problem that I have is, is just that when you have your veteran style abilities there, it's like how like how are you going to convert that well in a late game situation? Because the problem that I have with you know both Jesse and and Raymond is that their stamina, you know, late game potential is definitely not the greatest. Yeah. I think both of them are going to start going through a lot of, you know, adversity where their stamina is going to get to them and they're not going to be able to do the things that people expect them to do. And then the fight itself is going to turn into a very, uh, you know, you know, destructive battle. So I think uh, Raymond should be able to get this fight by decision, but if not, um, I think Jesse, you know, could definitely win by knockout. So, I, like, I'm not too sure if like, the fight itself would ever be competitive, you know, in a decision. I think Raymond would be more successful in that department to utilize his jabs and punching ability better to score more points over, um, over Jesse. But, um, only time will tell. Definitely, definitely. Definitely for sure, but I think, uh, honestly, how I think it's going to be, it's gonna, it's gonna be a chess match, but final thoughts would be, uh, I got Raymond Ford, uh, winning by decision, and if Jesse's able to hurt Raymond, he could definitely do it himself, so, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts, hope you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys later, shout out to the TWT LDBC. I'll see you guys. Bye.